What is presence? So there are a lot of different kind of interpretations with this because uh, what I notice with myself is that when I feel the most present is when I'm not particularly the one doing anything, but I'm observing everything being done. That way, when all the attention is taken off of the doing aspect of things, then the actual like experience can be fully experienced and you can be fully present to experience all of the things that come along with life. Um, I think that presence is also a state of mind and it's a way that you look at things. So presence would be the ability to be able to pull yourself back to center at any point in time and uh, with any circumstance that's coming around you. So when you are present, you are fully aware and available in the moment. And the thing about presence is that it's elusive for a lot of people because the feeling of presence is the feeling of absence in a way. And it makes you feel as though you kind of like dissolve into whatever you're doing. So unless you really, really enjoy what it is that you're doing, then you're probably not going to be completely present because you won't allow yourself to dissolve completely into the doing and the being. But if you are present, then that kind of flow state that you get into from doing things that you love or sports or any kind of things that require um, muscle memory and things like that, like that will be kind of the state that you stay in all the time in a way. So if you feel a feeling, think about it like this, say, say you're at work and you're feeling this feeling of like, I want to go home or I'm bored or I don't want to be here right now. Taking the attention and bringing it back to presence and then seeing that number one, home is where the heart is. So if you can bring your presence back to your heart, then you can bring your feelings to the point where that relaxation feeling that you get from uh, being at home, you can experience from being anywhere by just re-resting yourself in your heart. And that experience of, of relaxation that you feel at your house is not only attached to that house. The only reason that it is for you is because you believe that that is a safe spot for you and that you can relax there. But if you can hold that safety and relaxation with you everywhere, then for one, you won't lose energy to random things. Two, you'll be able to kind of manifest the experiences that are best for you. And three, you'll be able to stay present completely. And, um, you know, basically just enjoy the entire aspect of the being and the doing together and sorry i get distracted by the, the lens flares i think they're really cool anyways uh, presence is also keeping the attention on one thing at a time so <laughs> it's interesting how it works right so it's like you can you can uh, convince yourself that you're being present when in reality, uh, you're only present when you're aware. So presence is keeping awareness and having full awareness. Uh, a couple of ways that you can bring yourself back to awareness is in the moment of you speaking negative things in your mind or feeling feelings that you think are negative to 
notice those those thoughts and then take that and think to yourself what are these things trying to bring to me or show to me that i am missing or maybe not uh understanding in my everyday life and then take that information first um understand that in order to be present the best or not the best but a very good way to do that would be to start to see the reflection of you in everything else in your reality so see yourself reflected out everywhere see the trees as being a part of you see yourself in the trees see the personality of yourself in that tree see yourself in the ground see yourself everywhere see yourself and feel yourself breathing with everything get your mind to where it is connected with everything around you and the more that you can focus your attention on seeing everything around you as being a part of you or seeing it as a projection of of your consciousness uh or as a reflection of your consciousness then you can start to for one gather more synchronicity and two uh tap into more of the things around you because you are pulling your belief systems to a point where you can then allow some new experiences that may be just mind-blowing for you to come into your reality and uh so that you can allow all of this presence and uh awareness to kind of like set you into a space where you don't feel afraid from the kind of loss of self that you get from presence but at the same time you can sit in it and uh basically like be aware of the presence that's there all the time all right i think that's good for right now so i think everybody has a good day and yeah peace